Americans today think that if they have someone who's gay, they should take them and rape them and sexually assault them. Police officers think this is okay. When a man I know was held in captivity because some black man thought he had the right to enter his cell and verbally accost him, the gentleman felt this was unright. He felt this was a violation of the jail's rules. But instead of removing the black man who was the verbal abuser and potential physical assailant, they removed the gentleman who was being abused. When that gentleman was put into solitary for three months, the police officers shaved his head, shaved his body, shaved his genitalia, tied his beard in a knot, and did monstrous things to him, trying to get him to sex their officers. The answer was always, I pray, no. But at that time, who is a man who's held in captivity, who's reliant on someone to come and get him for food or give him food, going to say? You see, it's called psychological abuse. It's called emotional warfare. It's definitely spiritual abuse because he had to beg for his book that he brought with him in his duffel bags. And when he left, because the officers were just in a playful mood, they never returned to him his property bags. They stole everything from him, all his thumb drives, all his necklaces, all his belt buckles from his father, his late father's estate, the hats that came from his son that were great. Everything that meant something to him was in those bags as a traveler in life. 